Welcome to the screencast on how to use the action mailer to send emails with attachment. Uh, I'll walk you through uh, how you can do that in Rails 2.0. So let's get started. There, there are uh, some changes in the API if you look through the documentation for Rails API and how the um, Instead of variables, now we have methods you would be actually calling. I'll walk you through it when we create this application. So I'll create Rails, new Rails app. Let me call this as uh, report mailer. So let's generate uh, a controller called report controller. We just need one controller and then one mailer and then a view for actually triggering the mail to be sent. Let's generate the mailer, let's call it reporter, and the method will be called as action mailer method is report with attachment. Okay, now let's see what we have. So, uh, controllers, we have a report controller, and let's define a method called as uh, just report. And we will call the report with attachment method. If you want to deliver email, you have to say deliver underscore and then the actual name of the method you will call on the reporter object. I'll show you in a moment. Report with attachment. And this will take the name and then the uh, email to send the attachment and then the name of actually I'm hard coding the uh, name of the uh, PDF I'm assuming this PDF is located in a location that's not publicly accessible for instance if uh, um, a user signs up for a newsletter you want to send them some kind of uh, uh, a report uh, for instance the top 10 ways to save money while buying a car house or something of that nature and you just don't make it accessible uh, publicly so you, this these files video files should not be under the public directory should be uh, under some other directory and I have actually uh, store created an attachments directory under lib for instance, which the public cannot access. So I want to create a directory called attachments. You can create it wherever you want. And I want to copy a test PDF file into it under attachments directory. So I'm just going to pull something from my download here let me just copy uh, 
Okay. I'm really missed as a test.pdf and I'll just copy it over to the attachments. I have a test.pdf which is 2.4 MB under attachments. So I'm going to give the right name here test.pdf. Okay, now we got the attachment set up. Now let's go to the views. Let's create a file called index. And here I'm going to cheat and copy paste the form which will be displayed where we will specify the name of the recipient and the email address of the recipient and then you just click send report so this is not based on the actual event of someone signing up but this is focused more on how to attach a PDF file and send it so whatever your business logic is you can modify this program to work with it and when you click send report, it's in it, it's, this is going to call the report method we defined here. This will actually call the report with attachment. So let's all go to the, uh, let's say, after this action is called, it will look for a report method. So you can just say something like, report has been sent. The report has been sent. Now let's go to app views. This is the template for the email that will be sent out. Okay, now here can say hi and it's just a ERB template you can say hi and then the variable something like that and in the reporter class you have a model this is the action mailer it extends from action mailer the generator actually is using this variable equals something variable equals something but this is not the latest rise to that way of doing it instead of doing this now it has become a method so these are all like this now sent at we can just say find out now from info headers you don't have anything you can even just nick it body you can just give key value pairs in this case, what we are passing into the template is the, just a name, as you saw, high name and then some text. So we'll have name will be passed in. That's actually being passed in to the method here. As you saw in the controller, we had params of name and then params of email and then we actually had the name of the file subject doesn't matter just a test now recipients let's give then sent on so we have subject body recipients 
who is going to receive the email, where the email is going to be sent, and sent a timestamp when it was sent. Now here comes the uh, email attachment part. Now email attachment yes I would say it's the Rails root and since I have attachments underneath lib you can have it anywhere you like attachments as long as it's not publicly accessible and if it's not supposed to be made accessible that way and I can pass in the file name that is the email attachment actual location of the attachment and then you have a attachment which is a method available in action mailer and you can say I want to attach PDF and then you pass a block to it attachment A and the attachment's body is we will just read the contents of that particular email attachment of that particular file and we are all ready to now test this thing let's see we can bring up the server since there are no migrations we can just see what happens when we hit the URL host can have but let's say report this will hit the report controller index action okay we need to create the database Okay, there it is name of recipient is Bugs Bunny email address of recipient is B Bunny at Disney.com and watch what happens when you do a send report there it is this is the PDF file that has been attached and the actual name of the file you cannot oh there it is there's the beginning, it had the stack trace, and then we put the server back up. Okay, there it is. From sent email, today's date from infotrootplus.org to bugsbunnydisney.com, reported subject, and it has, it has the actual message which was sent body of the email and then the corresponding attachment Apple content type application PDF which attachment and that's it for the screencast and if you enjoyed it please recommend me on, recommend me on working with Rails. thank you